Oh, I think this is working. Let's hope so. We are live on Twitter and live recording this. This is our Christmas special episode. This is strange. Yeah, something else. This is our first listener there. Hello. Right, so we are live. We're recording this in person again, just like episode seven, and we're also live on Twitter. So hopefully we'll get some more listeners, but I will talk. Hello. This is quite scary. Hello. Yes, so let's make us a Christmas special. Happy Christmas. Yes, ho ho ho, and all that. Hope Santa's good to you. Uh, what are you going to do Christmas stuff this year, Ken? Three points for Queens. Let's hope so. I think you need to make realistic things, though, mate. Yeah, what are you asking for? The big fat man upstairs. Cardiff City to actually sign up player. I mean, we should all be unrealistic. No comment. What are you want to face on? I don't know. World Peace? Right, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to the capital sentence. <laughs> right. What colour track did you want? <laughs> I just flying past the window. Right, let's go for it. So, um, yes, as I said, coming in person, like episode seven, which has been recorded tonight, which will go up on Friday, Friday night, uh, Friday night, Friday afternoon, at midday, as always. And then this is our first ever broad live broadcast, is what I meant to say. So. Yeah, I'm kind of rambling now. So, I have picked a few segments. So, my first one is footballers related to Christmas. So, we've all picked a player. We're going to decide who's is the best. And then I've got a Christmas Sky Sports 11. The Sky Sports have picked out the 11 players and they've kind of altered the names for our team with a bit of subs, but let's pick. So, I've got a few, got a few honourable mentions. I'll do them after. You should see them. Right. Greg go first, he's oldest. I, I, I picked the, the one and only Andy Carroll. Fant- fantastic player at Newcastle, maybe not elsewhere. I went for Manchester City legend Rocky Santa Cruz. The big man up front before, the, before all the trophies arrived. It's very early stages. Yeah, that was like the Rubinho days, did it not? Marcus was signed him from Blackburn, I believe. Marcus and Chris Bellman. Craig Bellman, sorry. Chris Bellman, but Bill Johnson. Hmm? was legend. Freedom. The the mind was uh, Rudolf Scatchel. (laughs) Now, a few, I would say, name you lot Carlton, Ashley, and Joel Cole. Oh, you sure it would be bad. That would be a slap in my knee there. <laughs> that, that, absolutely. And you've got players like Santa Cazola. Rob, Robin Olsen. We're changing the names here. Right, okay, so... I want to, I want to give your, you give your opinions each player. So, this is a Sky Sports Christmas. I think it was last year, but I found it. So, I put it off anyway. So, in goals, number one, Slay Given. That. <laughs> Great goalkeeper. Three points in a clean sheet with Slay Gibbon and goals. Right. Um, uh, Leicester, so Leicester player, <laughs> Christian Fuchs. <Fuchsen. laughs> yeah, it's Christian Kim. Oh, Some of the, the centre back is Angel Gabriel. <laughs> Sorry, I, I've just seen the other one, which is Zach Silent Knight. Uh, <laughs> Zach Knight, Bolt Wonders legend, of course. Um, in the midfield, maybe, maybe Jesus Navas. <laughs> Accompanied by Fabian L. Oh, <laughs> One mentioned by Kel there already before, Santa Carzola. I hadn't read that before, just a pure clinky dink. My favourite one of this, this team is Paul Merson. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I messing something? No, like... No, thank you. Uh, it's, it's my, but uh, to be fair, there's actually there's a better one on the bench, and I think it should have been in the... I think I was blinded by my hatred for Paul Harrison. <laughs> I think it should have been in the start of the well, see, I was a bit impressed with Zach Silent Night. Uh, in, a, in a cam, it's... Jason Neal. Jason Neal? Nah, wasn't the best one. Great. Greg's one was uh, Andy Carroll, and the uh, another honourable mention is Demba Bar Humbug. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. On the bench, I think this player should have been starting is 
<laughs> I composed myself. Frankincense Lampard. <laughs> 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 it should be the gaffer. It should be the gaffer nowadays. <laughs> I, think, I think that was one of the best ones. So I like Slager. Um, Rocky Santa Cruz. That was my one. Uh, Mark Snowball. Mark. Who's that? Mark Noble. <laughs> that maybe Mark Schwartz. Or is he? <laughs> Eric Reindeer. Oh, God. <laughs> <Is that Eric? laughs> and Darren. Who's it? Darren Rudolph. I think it's written with Darren Randolph. That's, I see Rudolph's catch was better. It really is. Yes. But Rudolph. What's your favourite then? I think it's Frankincense Lampard <laughs> has to be. I still like that side of the night. Yeah, I think Sal- Salah is probably better, you know? Yeah, so, right. Um, I've got a few facts about football on Christmas Day. Or around Christmas Day, even. So, um, probably quite obvious when you think about it, but. I read up and it says, obviously, teams playing on Boxing Day are going to have to train on Christmas Day. Now, you think about it, the teams that are away have to stay in a hotel and travel. Because yeah. I read the thing about Jamie Carragher saying he just got used to it and he, all his family were trapped, pure pressure went to drink it. But he decided, he never said no. Um, the last Christmas Day game in England was in 1965, according to us, and when Blackburn beat Blackpool 1 0 in the old first division. And that day in the third division, Coventry beat Wrexham 5 3. Last Christmas day game in Scotland was in 1971, and I put a wee, not a wee, here Queens, uh, they were away to our growth on Christmas Day. We drew 2 2. Why some striking up to our growth? Christmas. That sounds like a worse thing. Did you know that happened? We get the kind of. UK kind of focus, we all, we always play on Boxing Day, don't we? There's other countries that don't necessarily. Germany, for example, the league's not back the 20th of January. You know, we have a winter break. A lot of other countries are changing their winter break this year. They're playing some games immediately now because of the World Cup. But do, do we think, lads, that it's about time we should be moving a winter break to allow footballers to have the Christmas period off for their welfare and back in January? Or what do we think? Yeah, uh, I would say so, yeah. Kind of little... In the long run, help with injuries, especially with this World Cup. I think they've been playing since the summer. I think the players in the Prem came full in and then they went straight through the World Cup. And to think of your players that have even reached the final, yeah, are then going straight back. In, what is that? I read um, McAllister of Argentina is going to two, play is it, two weeks old. You can give him the aye, but it, he's maybe playing Coventry. And like, is it Coventry? Charlton, Charlton, that, Charlton. There's a C, Charlton. No. In uh, a few days' time, so they've just given two weeks old, so he's no doing anything. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I doubt Jack Grealish will be playing for Man City the weekend because I've seen on his Instagram he's in New York. Yeah, yeah. that is also true. Can't be just colours, Anyway, yeah, I don't think this is working on Twitter. To be honest, I think we're having some technical difficulties. Fuck it, just keep going and see what happens. Oh well. Um. Yeah. So. Christmas cracker jokes. Oh, for God's sake. What are we saying? Do you want us to go first? Not me. Are you sure? I mean, we can get we can get mine out of the way. Yeah, get it. Yeah, it's shite, get it the road. Which is, why, why did Mrs Claus take an umbrella outside? I don't know. Because of the rain, dear. Hey! Yeah, that one. Sure. I'll be <laughs> Where do elves go when they hurt themselves? The National Elf Service. <laughs> um, I deserved more of a laugh for that. That was brilliant. Yes. I've got a wee, a wee card that says applause. <laughs> um, how would you tell the difference between a man, a snowman, and a snowwoman? I know the answer to this, but over it. Yeah. Snowballs! Hey. Stop, I've got a wee fun pad up, so I was sitting doing some research. Um, Boxing Day 1963. Go for it, read out all the fixtures. Blackpool 1, Chelsea 5. Blackpool won Chelsea. It's not like hundreds of hundreds of goals. It just comes up every year. Why don't Why don't you read the, the teams and we'll try and guess this goal? Brilliant. What day was What was the year again? Boxing Day, nineteen sixty three. Stanley Matthews time. Doesn't say my Blackpool got beat, but that's not the point. Burnley and Man United. Oh, but like seven one Man United, my guess. Yeah, sort of, sort of ridiculous. Six one Burnley. Burnley. Burnley that's... beat Man U. So that was when they had that airplane. I was going to say, when was that? That was the Munich air disaster. 
Um, pull them Ips, Ipswich. Oh, is this not one of the biggest results? You tell me. I'm asking you. It's like nine, nine something. I don't know. I feel like it's nine something. Nah, I actually just got beat by nine off Man United. Let's go. Well, we go for a high school and draw. Four all. Ten one. Oh, okay. on. I, I should have stuck with my initial, my initial thoughts there. I wasn't far away. Sorry to cut you off, Greg. It's a one 0 Newcastle. Oh, delightful. Anyway, Leicester Everton. Three three. Five five. Who's it? To who? Uh, New uh, Leicester. Liverpool v Stoke City. Eight two. You mean I'm not? I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. Six one. Sorry, obviously. No, it's fine. You can do the next one. Nottingham Forest v Sheffield United. Um, three zip Sheffield. Three apiece. I was actually going to say that, and then I thought, nah, mate. Sheffield Wednesday v Bolton Wanderers. One of these is bound to be a nil nil, but surely not. Was 2 1. It? I don't know if they're Wanderers or not at this point. Bolton. Makes them Bolton. 2 1. 3 zip to Sheffield United. Uh, Wednesday. That's what I meant. The first time. We the, got the wrong one. The Baggies, West Brom v Spurs. We won the Baggies. 5 1 Spurs. What a piece. Jesus. Was it not back? Was uh, did Man United not. I know this is nothing to do with Christmas, but did Man United not finish 5 5 with. Uh, I was West Brom versus Man United in like Alex Ferguson's last game. Did Lukaku uh, outscore uh, the guy actually? Uh, Alex, Alex Butler fucking scored. Yeah. Um, West Ham United beat Blackburn Rovers before the Venkies took charge. Well before the Venkies <laughs> took charge. Before, before Steve, they even won the Premier League. Before Steve Keane and Neil Ash Juf and Rocky Santa Cruz. Shout out. Christmas shout out. Um, so what's going on being uh, dudes? 4-1 Blackburn. 8-2 black ones <laughs> only half of what so you got black ones so you got black right before it goes off anyway the last one is Wolves speed Bula the Bitterns Dargo 3 all. yeah but there's Bingo. <laughs> wow yeah, yeah 3 apiece oh just as we're doing this we are watching this we are recording this as Rangers have Dean games going on it's just on 2 one uh, Jeremy Clark just scored a goal for Aberdeen <laughs> looks like the Ducks got the assist she got the goal. First goal as well. We have free kick. Free kick. McGregor made an absolute. Condolences, Robert. I know you probably want to stop recording and try right now. I think we're going to have to, but I'm, I'm keeping in the, the festive spirit. Exactly. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. So this is pretty quick one. I don't think the, the stream's working very well on Twitter, but, oh, you know. So the people. But we will try again another time. So thank you for tuning in. It's been a good one. Have a very, very Merry Christmas and a hope, Happy New Year. Hope that's good to you and brings you lots of toys. Yes, only if you've been good this year, though. Yes. Greg hasn't, so he'll be getting nothing. Just some, just some more hate, then. Some, yeah, some, hopefully. Some, some, that's, that was a, that's what I've got on my Christmas list. Some nail bombs in the post. Yes, please. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye.